hail. It's already scary, dangerous, and often paired with tornadoes. Look at that, look at it, come down! But did you know that hail can actually roar? In this video, we'll teach you about hail and show you how Team Dominator is leading the way in hail research with smartphone apps, custom built tools, and some very wild deployments. And you'll hear the very first hail roar captured with these devices yourself. Today I'm going for gorilla hail potential. Won't be surprised if the windshield ends up in my lap. As Reed approaches a supercell, we see the updraft. Inside there, vertical winds can be so strong that they go over 100 miles an hour. It's also so cold that ice pellets form and are kept aloft by those strong winds, adding more and more layers to a hailstone over time. I'm approaching the Gorilla Hail core, just in front of us. Hail to the size of baseballs and larger expected, and we got greenish, look at the green hue. Sign of refraction. The green hue Reed is referring to is caused by the miles of ice and water in the cloud, bending the light into the green part of the spectrum, actually similar to how ocean water behaves. The green hue is next to the hail core, and it's in these hail cores where a unique sound is heard. These big time hail cores, each individual hail impact has a sound associated with it, and kind of the culmination of all those sounds can create a roar, and we're trying to sample that. And so I'm gonna be deploying the subsonic sensor, measuring infrasound, the heartbeat of these gorilla hail producing storms. But that heartbeat is hard to detect with the untrained ear. So Mark Simpson of Dominator Labs has developed the Subsonic Infrasound Observatory. Using precision 3D printing, laser engraving, days of testing, and three prototypes, Mark spearheaded the entire process until the observatory was small, practical, and unbelievably capable. Yeah, as you can see, they're quite kind of sensitive. But then the challenge falls to Reed to position himself and the sensor properly, which is easier said than done. There you can see the hail core, still going strong, I'm trying to get back east and then cut north out in front of it back in the path of this beast. The hail core shows up on radar as this purple section here, north of the hook where a tornado forms. This is the tip of the hook right there. Incredible motion on it. A bit turbulent, but it's trying to wrap right about there. A lot of greenage as well in this storm. As Reed moves into position, it's important to note that the green area is not actually the hail core. Wow, look at that! Huge hail core right there! The hail core is this milky looking section next to the green area. Major hail core, big structure. Softball size hail is falling in that. I'm gonna sample that hail core. As Reed heads into the hail core, we see cars taking cover in an overpass. But we're here to say don't do this. It's dangerous for other drivers, and if this storm has a tornado on it, an overpass is one of the worst places you could be, as it acts as a funnel, accelerating the wind speeds. Here it comes! Back in Reed's vehicle, the hail starts out with smaller sizes as Reed touches the outside edge of the hail core, as he first wow. needs to skirt around the core to place the subsonic sensor in the path. Reed places the sensor in the path of the hail core, and it begins recording. Major hail core intercepted it right now. Big time hail, one of the biggest cores I've ever intercepted. Will this hail core be like the Cole Oklahoma supercell, which had sparse baseball sized hail? Baseballs are coming down all around us, look at this. Or will it be more intense, uh, like this one from last year? While the sensor records the sound of the hail, Reed's vehicle is put to the test. Watch how quickly this windshield is put to pieces. Shut it down! 
in a fairly tame year in 2021, tornadoes caused $229 million in damage across the United States. But in that same time, hail caused over a billion dollars in damage. And these are the states hit the hardest. We'll check the sensor results in a moment. But once that hail is settled on the ground, it's time for the other part of Team Dominator's hail research to debut. Skyballs is a smartphone app which uses the cameras, LiDAR, and some clever calculations to allow the user to take photos of hailstones and have them accurately measured. AI is used to separate the hailstones from the background, and GPS is used to plot these on a map. In private beta and with only a few approved users, Skyballs is already the biggest, most comprehensive database of large hail on the planet. And the last thing before the subsonic results, look at this. After hail falls, you may be able to see hail fog. On days with light wind and warm, moist air at the surface, hail fog can form. It's usually sparse, but it can also stretch for miles. But now, let's listen to the results of the subsonic hail roar. Did you catch it? This here is the hail roar, when tens of thousands of hailstones impacted the ground around the sensor. The sections before and after that are just subsonic sounds of the environment next to the highway where the sensor was placed. Let's listen again. That's a wall cloud formation on our storm now. Team Dominator's hail research will continue. And if you want to keep a keen eye on it, follow Mark Simpson at Chase and Spin on Twitter. But in the future, there may be a few less lost windshields because <laughs> Dominator 3 is back and it'll be deployed for many chases in the heart of Tornado Alley. But we may still have the occasional lost windshield. Big road, guys. Oh. This is not good right here. Oh. Oh. Bouncing. Big problem. Try a hill for Oh. Use the floor data. We're getting dominated out here. Oh. Something just shattered. Back window? I don't know. I think it was glass or something. Cut your window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright guys, we gotta save the windshield. We're just gonna yeah, point yeah, this yeah. way. 